So today I'm going for a sweet potato and butternut squash curry with some rice. So if you guys are ready, let's go. Today I have got um, a nice plant-based dish for all my fellow vegans out there. I'm trying to go a bit more green, it just feels a lot healthier. To a baking tray you're going to add a teaspoon of coconut oil and a glug of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and I have just pre-cubed some butternut squash um, one whole butternut squash and that goes in as well and the same with three large sweet potatoes peeled and cubed as well and that goes in okay and I've got my spice pot so I'm going to do half a teaspoon of turmeric half a teaspoon of red chili powder which is super spicy and half a teaspoon of cinnamon To get my wooden spoon and give it a mix. I'm going to add a little bit extra olive oil. And I'm going to add some ground cumin and ground coriander. So in this spice pot, it's mixed together, but I'm going to do about half a teaspoon of that as well. And I found this in my cupboard, garam masala uh, powder. I'm gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon as well. So you want each piece of vegetable to get nicely coated in the spice mix. And we're gonna put this in a preheated oven of 200 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. While the butternut squash and the sweet potato is in the oven, I have just put a pan on medium heat and I've just put a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil inside and the pan seems warm enough now. I'm just going to add one uh, red onion that has been cubed and just let that saute until clear. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of black mustard seeds and a teaspoon of cumin seeds and that's gonna go straight in. So I've just taken my sweet potato and butternut squash out of the oven and it's charring, which is lovely. Then what I've done is I've just added just now um, two sliced red bell peppers, I've just sprinkled them on top and we're going to just pop it in the oven for an extra 10 minutes and then we're going to take it out. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Add three crushed garlic cloves, it's going to go in. all that garlic off that garlic plate. And then I'm gonna add two de-seeded chilies cut. Ooh. Give that a mix. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil because my ingredients are sticking to the bottom. And this is probably gonna spit and flush on you, so give it a quick mix and put the ladies back on. That is looking and smelling amazing. And I'm going to just add one tin of coconut milk, 400 grams. Oh, that sound, the smell, it's a whole sensory, it's a whole sensory thing going on here. 
and just let that simmer for about 15 minutes with the lid on, just to thicken. After about five minutes, you wanna add about a teaspoon of, oh, can't see it, there we go, oh, there we go, <laughs> this light is so annoying, um, maple syrup. Add a teaspoon of salt after about another five minutes. And I'm gonna be serving this with some rice, so I've just done about six fistfuls of rice. This is for about four people. And I'm gonna let that simmer as well to serve with. Okay, so after a couple more minutes, I'm gonna add the juice of half a lime. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is add the sweet potato and butternut squash into the curry and give it a mix. So I just added a quarter more coconut milk into the curry and the colour, turmeric and the spices we put into the tray bake have now really come through, which looks really good. I'm probably going to add just a little bit more coconut, so about a half, so about a tin, one and a half tins of coconut milk into this. Now I'm going to put about 100 grams of spinach. I'm just going to taste it to make sure that it's got everything in. Mmm. That's really good. I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of salt. shake it in and then I'm just going to just top it with some coriander and that is your sweet potato curry done look at the colors gorgeous so that's another recipe done guys, really quick, really simple and wholesome and, and very tasty. I'm like I, I've probably said in my other videos, but I'm the biggest con of whatever, I love my meat, but this one genuinely pulls you up. So if you guys could subscribe and click that bell notification, it would mean the world. Um, until the next